Hey guys, how's it going? So today I'm gonna to review the IBM Data Analyst Professional Certificate. So if you guys know me, um, then you know a couple things. One, that I really prefer Python, so this is good because it is in Python, uh, as well as I generally uh, ad am an advocate for learning data science in addition to analytics, okay? So generally I consider data science slash machine learning to be all of the stuff that's going to be in this certificate here, and then machine learning. So, and then scikit-learn and TensorFlow or PyTorch or whatever. Okay, so if you wanna just be a data analyst, that's totally fine. Take this certificate, well, I'll full review it for you, don't worry, um, but don't choose the data, IBM Data Science, choose the analyst. If you are trying to figure out between the analyst and the data science, and you're not sure which one you prefer, I would actually recommend the IBM Data Science just because I think it gives you a flavor for both of those things and you'll figure out what you really want to specialize in. And if you know that you wanna be a data analyst, then you know I, I'm full reviewing this for you if it's something that you are interested in. Uh, I just, I hope those things are out of the way. I just, this one needed a, a proper introduction because it's, uh, it's confusing with a couple other different things, okay? So unlock your potential in data analytics, build job ready skills for an in-demand career as a data analyst. No degree or prior experience required, okay? So huge, uh, this is pretty much self-contained, like you don't need to know anything for this. Uh, and you know, even after, of course, you should build projects and that type of thing. But uh, this is relatively, like if you wanna be a data analyst, this is really your, your certificate here to learn uh, the majority of the core skills. You don't really have to take a bunch of other Coursera courses. Um, although of course, expand your horizons and skill set as much as you possibly can, okay? So what you will learn, demonstrate proficiency in using spreadsheets and utilizing Excel to perform a variety of data analysis tasks like data wrangling and data mining, okay? So basically get a proper understanding of Excel to do all of the Excel-like things. So note that this course is in Python and not R. That's actually an interesting choice because for strictly data analytics, uh, R is probably a more popular choice Generally, we switch to Python when you need to do machine learning uh, and to more complicated tasks like that. Not that R doesn't do machine learning, it's just generally when that uh, is the, sw uh, the switch happens. But uh, this is in Python, which I absolutely love, and of course, I am an advocate for. Develop working knowledge of Python uh, for analyzing data using Python libraries like Pandas and NumPy, the fundamental libraries, uh, and invoke APIs and web services. Perfect. Create various charts and plots in Excel and work with IBM Cognos Analytics to build dashboards. Okay, dashboards, if you're gonna be an analyst, uh, huge for you to know how to do that. Visualize data using Python libraries like matplotlib. All right, perfect. So that's, uh, that's the first and often used um, graphing library in Python. <clears throat> it's a great choice. Describe data ecosystem and compose queries, I actually don't know what that is, uh, to access data in cloud databases using SQL and Python uh, from Jupyter Notebooks, okay? So they teach Excel, that's very, very important. Uh, they don't assume that you know that, they are going to teach that to the level that you need it and not outside what you really won't need. It'll be good. Uh, and of course, I, I absolutely love Jupyter Notebooks. So doing that um, in doing Python and SQL in Jupyter a uh, really, really strong decision. I love, as it says here, beginner level. Okay, uh, 400,000 recent views, so obviously very, very popular. I will read off the skills here. Microsoft Excel, Python programming, analysis, of course. I really hate the data viz, but just the acronym, like I don't hate the idea. So data visualization, of course, very useful. SQL, data science, it's where it starts to bother me. I understand why they'd put that tag there for uh, people actually viewing the course um, for search engine reasons, but the data science is getting to be, uh, it, yes, it's data science, but it doesn't do any sort of machine learning. So don't get that confused. Spreadsheets, pivot tables, yep. Cognos Analytics, okay, I guess that's probably what that Compose thing is that I hadn't heard of. Uh, dashboards, Pain is a NumPy, perfect. Okay, let's uh, take, so actually just to first uh, talk about the instructor, uh, he is the same person that does the IBM data science. Okay, so same stuff there. And courses. So course one, introduction to data analytics. 
This course presents a gentle introduction into the concepts of data analysis, the role of a data analyst, and the tools that are used to perform daily functions. Okay, so before we're getting into any of the nitty gritty stuff, I'm gonna talk general, get you um, understanding all of the general knowledge associated with data analysts and what they do before you really get down and dirty. That's useful, that's the right way to do it. Um, soft skills, okay, great. It's hard to learn soft skills without actually doing them, uh, but I mean, you can for sure. It'll help you to differentiate between the roles of a data analyst, data scientist, and data engineer. Perfect. So if they are writing it this way, that means that, you know, data scientist is generally for machine learning like stuff. Data analyst is for queries and, you know, just actually running analytics. And data engineer also does analytics, may occasionally, but very rarely do machine learning. Data engineer really brings data to both of these two different groups of people. Okay, um, you will learn the responsibilities of a data analyst and exactly what data analysis entails. Great. Um, okay, talking about platforms like Hadoop, Hive, and Spark. Perfect, very glad to hear that. And okay, I'm just gonna read here, it does not require any prior data analysis, spreadsheet, or computer science experience. You just need basic literacy uh, and high school math. Perfect, even the high school math you can forget the vast majority of high school math. Excel basics for data analysis. So we get you started with Excel, which is uh, you know, a good place to start before getting too complicated into programming languages. Um, and even then you can do a lot of fancy stuff with Excel. As you can see, they've, they've written quite a bit here. I'm not gonna waste your time and read this entire thing because it's too many words, uh, but I will look at the highlights. Plenty of videos, of course. Um, it's an essential tool for business. Yep, yeah, Excel is used all over the place. That is true. Cleansing and wrangling data, of course. Filtering, sorting, creating pivot tables. Wonderful. Uh, it's introduction to spreadsheets, of course. Yes, I'm going to skip that. Strong focus on practice and applied learning in the course. Yeah, okay, there's a lot of words here. Uh, I, They're going to teach Excel, which teaches spreadsheets, how to put in data, what is data, um, how to format it, how to do all the Excel-like things, basically. It's great, it, it's very useful. Data visualization and dashboards with Excel and Cognos, okay? So this course covers some of the first steps in the development of data visualizations using spreadsheets and dashboards. Again, mm -hmm. as a data analyst, these are gonna be uh, two of your best friends, spreadsheets and dashboards. It's something I, as a data scientist, do a little bit less of, uh, but it's still important for sure. I'm going to skip most of this, Excel and Cognos Analytics. Basically, the point of this is data visualization, so graphing, uh, talking about how to present it in a way that people will understand. Wonderful course. Okay, Python for data science, AI, and development. Okay, so this is very interesting, uh, and I have to zoom in this and understand exactly what they have in here because it's, uh, it depends, it matters a lot. So Python basics, data structures, fundamentals, working with data in Python, APIs and data collection. It does not even cover any of the like big libraries for machine learning, okay? This doesn't talk about scikit-learn, uh, and so I have a difficult time associating that with data science and AI. It's tricky, it is something that is still important, just to make it clear, even though it's talking about data science here, in the data analyst certificate, it's not actually really artificial intelligence or machine learning in any capacity, okay? It's really, really not. Nonetheless, of course, these are still important skills. They are teaching Python for these things. It's very tricky because a lot of people, people do this differently. Um, if you write Python for something, well, that could either mean, that could mean two things. That could mean the Python required to learn those things, like as a prerequisite, or Python for data science, AI and development, as in that is literally the Python that does data science, AI and development. It is really the former, it's the first one. This is the Python required to learn those things. It's not really going to teach you artificial intelligence. It really doesn't. Okay, Python project for data science. Uh, this mini course is intended for you to demonstrate foundational Python skills for working with data on a hands-on project and you'll develop a simple dashboard in Python. Wonderful, I love it. Uh, very, very useful. Prerequisite is the previous course. Databases and SQL for data science with Python. Okay, lovely, lovely. No prior knowledge of databases, SQL, Python or programming is required. They are going to talk about 
uh, the, all those wonderful things. It's it's this is one of the big takeaways from anything databases and SQL. Uh, also with Python, just makes it even better. Love it. Data analysis with Python. Okay, so uh, stepping away from exactly you you may or may not use SQL in this, but it's more so about pandas, numpy, and scipy. So using the fundamental libraries of those to import, clean, uh, you know, do data. I don't know what's saying. Data frame. Oh, data frame manipulation. So working with pandas basically, uh, summarizing it, building machine learning regression models. Okay, so that'll be uh, okay. They use scipy for that. That works. Uh, building data pipelines. So that is what really what a data engineer's job is for. But of course, uh, you will still be involved in that type of thing. And you really need to understand how it works. Okay, data visualization with Python. So how can you use Python to uh, to make graphs and and make pretty pictures to explain data? Uh, Matt Polo of Seaborn. I actually haven't heard of Folium. I'll have to look that up after this. I'm curious. IBM data analyst capstone project. In this course, you will apply various data analytics skills and techniques that you have learned as part of the previous courses. Okay, so basically a, a big capstone project where you do a bunch of the different things, or at least a subset of the different things that were talked about in the course. And there you go, nine courses, and that's it. So again, wonderful. If you want to be a data analyst, then absolutely 100% recommend this. If you also just want to learn Excel uh, and SQL, maybe at least take some of the courses that are in there, uh, that would be very helpful for you. Okay, so recommend as a data analyst, not much more I can say. If you, again, just to repeat a little bit of the beginning, if you are a data scientist, uh, or if you wanna be a data scientist, don't really take this, take the IBM data science. If you wanna be an analyst, take this one for sure. If you're not sure, I'd recommend doing the data science so that you can, uh, basically choose what you want and figure out what you want to do. Um, and then after that, uh, make your decision and carry on forward. If you liked machine learning, then maybe take the machine learning and TensorFlow courses. If you're satisfied with this and you that's your thing, what I would recommend after um, is probably still more big data like stuff. So uh, check the description I have in every YouTube video, including this one. Um, check under my section for big data. That might be a good next step for you uh, after you were to take this, or if you've already known, if you already know some of the similar skills here. Um, and yeah, so take a take a look at other videos on my channel uh, and see if you want to subscribe and stay up to date and drop a like on this video if it does help you out. Uh, it helps me out for sure. And yeah, I'll catch you next time. Thanks so much for watching.